Good afternoon, Mr. Curtis. As you know, I'm Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. I'm, as you know, I'm counsel for the Almighty. We're here today in the matter of the Almighty versus David Randall Curtis. Uh, we're here today to ask you ten questions for atheists. These questions originally postulated by M. Helmsley. Mm -hmm. uh, a few minutes ago you were sworn in and uh, swore on the Bible to tell the whole truth. Is that correct, Mr. Uh, Curtis? Uh, let me just clear something up. Uh, um, I didn't swear anything on the Bible. I swore at the Bible, okay, to tell the truth. But I didn't swear on it. I swore at it. Well, thank you, Mr. Curtis. We'll we'll let that stand as your okay. answer. But uh, uh, let's just move forward. All right. You're ready at this time. Uh, it's my understanding you're here today uh, in pro per representing yourself. You won't be represented by counsel. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct, sir. Yes. Okay, let me begin with the first question. All right. What do you think about the Christian's response when they say that God is present when there is all this suffering? I, I feel like, like, when I hear that, I feel like saying, Hey, fella, he's your God. Okay, um, you know, can't you like elbow him or, or sacrifice a goat or do something to get his attention so he'll get up off his fat ass and st stop these people from dying, you know? I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, they're the ones that know him, you know? You know, do something. Jeez. Do you feel that Christians practice what they preach? No, no, I, I, I feel that uh, Christians love to uh, practice preaching. If you believed in something, Mr. Curtis, do you think that Christianity is the only way? If I be Can you repeat that question? Certainly, Mr. Curtis. If you believed in something, do you think that Christianity is the only way? You realize, of course, that question makes no sense. That's that's. I don't even. I don't even know if that's supposed to be rhetorical or not. It sounds like a statement, two statements pushed together by somebody high on peyote. I mean, I think if 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 you were uh, talking to God right now, he wouldn't know how to answer that. So, I'm just going to take the fifth. You know, uh, on that. that That's the, the worst worded question I've ever heard. Is that your full answer, Mr. Curtis? I, I just, before we leave this question, I'd just like to remind you the Almighty is not only the plaintiff in this matter, the Almighty is also the trier of law. In fact, uh, to the extent that that might affect your answer, I, I would like to give you the opportunity to. Uh, perhaps... No, that, that, that's my full answer. If I need to, I'll suck up later. But uh, um, that's my full answer for now. How do you feel when Christians tell you that you can't earn your way to salvation? I feel really worried uh, because if it is true, and that's a big if, um, you know, uh, if I can't earn my way in, and yeah, I've never believed that it that it's there. I mean, the only option I've got left is if Saint Peter takes bribe. So. It makes me hope, St. Peter, that when you greet him at the, you know, at the pearly gates, that if you palm him a hundred dollars, uh, that, that he'll let you in, you know, and, and, you know, maybe, you know, like, you know, when you try to get a good table at a, a restaurant, you give the maitre d' a hundred bucks, and he, you know, gives you the best table in the house, you know, hopefully St. Peter is, will take bribes and maybe give me a table near the right hand of God. You know, that's really, yeah, I worry about that if it is true, but yeah. Well, how do you feel about prosperity ministers or the megachurches? Well, I have been so broke for so long that I'm at the point where I'm ready to call those bastard, one of those bastards up and asking for financial advice. You know, because I'm just bottom line. I mean, you wouldn't happen to have like a couple hundred I could borrow on you uh, because I'm really short. 
Are you sure you're not just morally bankrupt, Mr. Curtis? Oh, that was, was that a joke? That uh, that okay. I withdraw the I withdraw the question, okay, Mr. Curtis. Okay, Mr. Curtis. I guess I deserve that. Do you think that Christianity and science mix? Yes, I, I think they mix very well in a in a courtroom. Makes for good drama. How do you feel about the Bible? Uh, is it the inerrant, inspired Word of God? Well, it is inspired. I don't know if there is a God or not, you know, like I said, but uh, uh, I think the biggest fallacy about the Bible, or the biggest misconception about it is people don't realize it's a children's book. It's God's first attempt at writing something for kids. I mean, it's all there between the lines. You got talking animals, you got unicorns, you got, you know, kids that grow up to, you know, rule kingdoms and a battle of between good and evil at the end and all that you know it's uh, um, it's kind of like a cross between Harry Potter um, uh, the Lord of the Rings and the art of war uh, it's it's basically the most terrific children's book ever written well mr. Curtis do you believe that Jesus Christ existed oh he exists now uh, you you look shocked, but I, I tell you, he does. I lived in Southern California for some time, and you know, I made a lot of uh, friends uh, with a, a lot. Of, I had a lot of Mexican uh, family families I've become friendly with, and they would name their kids Jesus. And then you go into Mexico, and you find even more kids named Jesus. You know, and uh, I get. I yeah, I just found this out recently. Uh, Jesus was a very common name. Two thousand years ago, you know. So I, you know, I guess uh, you know the, the biggest surprise here is that, that there were so many Mexicans in the Middle East, uh, um, you know, uh, back in the day, you know, uh, uh, you know, that that time period. It's amazing. Do you feel the geography, where you were born, has any difference in whether a person is a Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, or any other religion? No, I don't think it has any bearing. As long as you have uh, uh, parents or an institution uh, that's very uh, domineering, uh, you can be brainwashed into believing anything, anywhere. So doesn't matter where you're at, though. How would you feel if all of Christianity could be proved? You know, strangely enough, um, Esquire, can I call you Esquire? Feel free to call me that. Yeah, um, I, I would feel relieved. I'd feel hopeful is the word I'm looking for. And the, the reason I say that is if they could prove that, that all of Christianity was true, then th there would also be hope for the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. And both of the, those two have always been, you know, really close to my heart. So, you know, it would make me feel hopeful. You know, so... Thank you, Mr. Curtis. That concludes. Oh, well, I'm, thank you. Is well, that all? Any more? Th that concludes the questions we have for you today. Uh, we are recessing at this time. We reserve the right, per our prior stipulation, to continue this deposition uh, at a later date. We will provide you notice of that as required by rule. Uh, if you have no questions uh, as to uh, this matter, uh, we'll terminate the deposition at this time. Oh, okay. And the, the the couple hundred bucks uh, you'll get back to me on, right? Uh, 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 you must remember, Mr. Curtis, everything has its price. You have little faith, uh, perhaps might want to put forth some quid pro quo when asking for something from the Almighty. I, I see. Yeah, okay. It was, you know, never hurts to ask. No harm, no foul. Well, you know... I think we have just enough time to hit that strip club, so let's go for it. Sounds good. Okay.